Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be comparing the Spyro 3 against the Spyro 2 and the Spyro LX. You may be considering which one of these to get. The Spyro 3, brand new, came out this year. Uh, it's very good. There's a lot of great options with it. Uh, against the Spyro 2, which seems to be slightly different again. Um, which one's worth buying? Is it worth paying the difference in money and why it may be or why it may not be? And then the Spyro LX, which isn't an uh, electric powered one, it's a manual powered one. Uh, I've had a couple of these, so we're going to go through uh, these, compare and contrast all these three guns to see which one is worth buying this year. You might also notice I've got this little box here. So this is the filler box. So we're going to be looking at this uh, to see if it's worth getting one of these, or do you just use a bucket? What's the point of one of these? And as a bonus to this video, if you make it to the end, we will show you how to play Protect the Baby. First up, the Spyro 2. So it may surprise you to know that the Spyro 2 is actually the original gun. There was a Spyro 1 that came out, but there was a few issues they were having with the filtration system with the water. So they upgraded it and re-released it as the Spyro 2. So we're going to go through the Spyro 2. Let's have a quick recap on what the Spyro 2 does. Touting the world's strongest water gun was a massive claim when they first launched. It features an electric charge-up system, meaning a fully automatic charge by clicking the trigger forward. You'll see it suck up the water and load into the weapon. You'll see you've got the electric dial, so when you fire a bullet, one of the bullets goes down and it tells you how much you've got left to shoot. Hold down the trigger, and then release. The only downside is waiting for it to reload, so when you fire three shots, you can't then fire any more until it's reloaded. So the Spyro 2 is obviously a wicked, wicked weapon, I would highly recommend it. I did have a few issues with the first one that I ordered. Um, I had a few problems with it loading, there's another video on that on, on the fix of that, but I sent that to Spyro, they sent me a new one and I haven't had any problems since and we've been using it throughout the summer. I'm going to come back to the Spyro 2 in a moment because we're going to be reviewing the Spyro 3 and in comparison to see whether it's worth spending that additional amount for the upgrade or if the Spyro 2 is just enough. But first, the Spyro LX. The Spyro LX come out after the Spyro 2 and I'm guessing where they had a few issues with mechanical problems on the Spyro 2, they wanted another option to solve that problem and so the Spyro LX was born. So a quick recap on the Spyro LX on what it does and if it's any good. The Spyro LX is a manual version in the Spyro series so no electrics but still boasting the massive claim of the world's strongest gun. Typically it sucks up the water through the nozzle so you put the nozzle in the water um, with this particular model, you pump it up, so as you do the down pump, this is going to draw the water into the model. So it takes quite a few pumps to get it going, fully loaded, um, and then you've got your trigger on the side here. You pull the trigger and it fires a bullet of water. However, the Spyro LX is all manual, so there's no electric in this, uh, there's no charging. Uh, there's no dial on the top, everything is all manually done. So this one I would say has some downsides. It takes a lot of pumping energy to get it pumped up, which means you're sort of out of the game for quite a while if you're battling against the other guns. It is a fun gun and I would recommend it if you just want to play with it and have, have a little bit of fun along with other water guns. But overall I wouldn't recommend it. Reason being is I had an issue with this gun where I was pumping it and it wouldn't retain the water. It just kept pouring out the bottom here. So I'm guessing perhaps the, the lung inside or whatever it was was broken. I was able to contact Spyro and they contacted me back and sent me a new one, which was great. However, when I got the new one out, the first use of it, I had a problem straight away. Is when I was pumping it, the water was getting sucked up here and spitting it straight back out. So it wasn't holding any water at all. So at this stage, until I get a new one, I can't recommend it. Because it's the height of the summer season, um, they're getting a lot of orders in, more, more orders now than they do the rest of the times of the year. So they've got a lot of customer service they've got to deal with. So I imagine I probably won't see a working one of these now until the end of summer. But hopefully they get back to me soon. I have emailed them and maybe we'll get a new one sent out. So, But for now, I'm sorry, but I can't recommend this gun. This year's brand new release, the Spyro 3. Now the talk of the town, the Spyro 3. This is the one we've all been buzzing about this year with its new release. I don't know if they're gonna bring out another new gun next year, but certainly this year, this is the one that everyone's buzzing about. So let's have a quick recap on this gun and what it does. Why is it different to the Spyro 2? This is the most insane water gun ever made, the Spyro 3. A semi-automatic water weapon with three different fire settings that each fire actual bullets of water at 34.8 PSI. The Spyro 3 has a digital tactical display to let you know how many shots are left in the tank. 
Being an electric charge up means power refills, which is super easy. Power up your weapon, dip the nose and push the trigger forward to watch the automatic refill to 100%. Then set your fire mode. League functions in the same way as the Spyro 2. You can only fire what's loaded in the tactical display. Or if you hold the trigger down, you can fire a burst mode as it loads up a bigger shot. But don't get confused as the next setting is burst. In burst mode, in burst mode it'll unload all three of the preloaded shots. And if you pull the trigger before it's loaded all three, it will only unload what it's preloaded. Open mode is my personal favourite, completely unrestricted. You can fire as quickly as you can pull the trigger and unload your weapon. Whatever your weapon of choice, use the code Elliot Recommends and start your epic water gun battle today. So you today. see there that you've got the option of operating like the Spyro 2 on league mode, which is really cool because it does mean that if you're competing against other people that have got the same gun, you can match that and you're not overpowering them. So when you're setting up different types of games, creating your games with new rules and things like that, if you all agree on league mode, then you're all equally as powerful, which makes it a good balanced game. But the difference with this is obviously with burst mode and open mode, it does make for that extra tactical element to it. So really what you're paying for, those two extra options. So I did, when I had the Spyro 2, I was getting frustrated with the fact that when I was firing it, I couldn't fire as quick as I'd like. Particularly if you've got the drop on someone and you're trying to just unload everything, you really need burst mode and open mode. So the Spyro 2 and the Spyro 3 do have modes that are exactly the same, but the Spyro 3 has a couple of extras. So to work out the price difference, let's have a look at the Spyro website and see what they're saying. Just quickly, I should mention you can get 5% off if you use the code Elliot Recommends when shopping on the Spyro website. So on the Spyro website, we can look down, go straight to the LX. We can see the price is coming in at £69, so not a, a cheap amount for a, for a gun. Uh, it's quite a lot of money for a water gun. Um, particularly as we've had difficulty with it and it's difficult to recommend it but I have had it working and a lot of people have so there are plenty of options um, there's the different colours obviously and it goes up in price if you want the dual ones you get a little bit of money off uh, the specific specifications typically like all the others so you've got the Spira Blast technology but it's a manual system so different again the cool thing about this however is firing it so when you fire it it fires a bullet of water and they're quite accurate so if we look down the site So it's pretty powerful. Now looking onto the Spyro 2 coming in at £124. This was originally the entry level price. Uh, we've got the red and the blue and the dual again, as similarly to the LX. Um, the LX was the downgraded price, but this uh, it was the entry level. So again, we've got the Spyro Blast technology, like on all the weapons, but here we've got the electric versions as well. So this uh, was what was really sold these guns initially and still does. Um, the digital display, the charge up, all those mechanics available there. The Spyro 2, however, um, is obviously mechanical. It's a lot more accurate and a lot more powerful. That when you shoot it down the spread on it, the water doesn't spread out quite so much. Finally, we've got the Spyro 3 coming in at £134. The same again with the blue and the red or the dual, but each unit is £134, and this is the point to note. The fact that there's only £10 difference from the Spyro 2 from £124 to the Spyro 3, £134, for £10 difference, you're getting all this extra gear packed in your weapon. Now you might be thinking, why oh why would I need a filler when I've got a perfectly good bucket or a sink to fill up my water gun? And here's why. If you've owned a Spyro water gun for any amount of time, you'll have been hunting around for places to play your epic water battles. We've recently got back from a holiday at Centre Parks where we took our Spyro guns and saving space when packing was key. When packing, you don't have a lot of boot space. Two Spyro water guns take out a significant amount of space. So you imagine if you've got a bunch of buckets, the box for the uh, filler isn't actually that big. So once you put it in there, it doesn't take up that much space and it's a lot more easy if you want to take two or three of these to set up your bases when you're having a water fight. Aesthetically looks pretty good too, and now on to how to play Protect the Baby. This game is a two player game called Protect the Baby. Obviously we're not going to use a real baby, so we're going to swap the baby out for a bottle with some water in the bottom to balance it out. At each base, we're going to set up two bases in the woods, at each base there's going to be a bottle, a container to fill of water to refill your gun and your gun. The aim of the game is to shoot over each other's bottle. The person that shoots over the bottle wins the game. Start at each end, so start at the base and charge in. If you get hit with the water, you have to go back to your base. This is an opportunity to recharge. But obviously, while you're charging up, the other player's still charging in. So hurry up and recharge your gun so you can protect yourself and the base. 
It's particularly fun game because there's loads of interaction, loads of trees to hide behind and plan your strategy. I'll leave the 5% discount code and details in the bottom of this video and one last thing to mention. So one last thing to mention before I go, I noticed on the Spyro website that they've got something called Munich Mash. So in Germany, it looks like a big sporting event and Spyro are going to be there by the looks of it uh, from the 30th of the 6th to the 2nd of the 7th. I don't know if that's just the stall because they're selling the guns or if it's going to be a massive water fight. Maybe you guys can let me know in the comments below if you attend that. Take some pictures, let us see because I would love to see it. In the meantime, check you out in another video. See you later.